Yo what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'll be showcasing my entire brand design process from scratch to finish. Let's get started. Yo what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Monica from Sunnet and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing my entire brand design process in this video. And in today's video we're going to be designing Flower Web which is an online flower bouquet store that shares and provides uh, flowers to supermarkets and customers. What a fun thing I just wanted to share with you guys is that this name actually came from my mom. She made a typo or she said something different. You know, we all have these words that we want to combine like maybe sleep with bed and we just say it like it just have this weird word that doesn't exist. So she wanted to say something with flower and spider. I'm not exactly sh entirely sure what actually happened. So instead of her to say spider web or flower, I, she said flower web. So from that moment, I had the idea why not create an entire brand identity from that? So that is why how I came up with the name. So the first step I'm going to be taking is brand strategy design, or let's just call it the brand strategy pro stage. I feel like I'm saying it right here. Anyways, this is the stage where I will look for all the information concerning the brand. This will be things like brand, their goals, their mission, the target audience, and competitor analysis, if I'm saying that right. It feels so weird saying that actually, <laughs> whoa. Anyway, in that document, there will be all the information I need about the brand, which will help me to create better and tight and neat design solutions for flower web when creating a brand identity i always start with research this is a very crucial step in order to nail the complete design for a client during this research process i put information like about the brand goals mission target audience and much more now that we have all the information for required for flower web it's time we move on to the mood board stage this is the stage i enjoy a lot since i recently started loving mood board design or creating mood boards it this is the stage where i will compile all the design elements that the client is able to create their own mood board i'll be creating my own mood board and i'll be able to know what the client likes or dislikes this is very important in order for you to nail your design and it could also be a source of inspiration for you once you're feeling stuck when designing so let's go and start creating the mood board from pinterest i normally use pinterest for mood boards it's the to-go platform for designers and you can always use books uh, even real life inspiration. There are sometimes I go outside, take pictures of random objects that can give me inspiration to design later. So inspiration comes from everywhere. This is just where I normally go, my to go place for inspiration. So if you use any other place, let me know in the comments. So why do we actually create mood boards? It is very important that the design matches the correct target audience. For example, a female design for makeup will never be the same as male perfume. There will always be a difference in this. This is why I create two mood boards that will help me determine the style for the new brand identity called Flower Web. And this is the mood board I decided to create for Flower Web. After we've finalized the mood board stage, it is finally time to move on to my most favorite stage and that's the logo design process. In this stage, we are going to be sketching ideas for a logo design and in this case for Flower Web, I decided to create a lot of sketches before and tossed a lot. That weren't good, trust me, they were not good. And I, this is also like the stage where you can get a lot of ideas qua um, what kind of idea you would like the logo to have and uh, this is also the stage where you can like implement the things that you've found in your mood board and implement them in your logo design so this is going to be the stage where I designed the logo for flower web so here you can see the process of me trying to create a logo for flower web before I want to go for a typography logo but later on I decided to change to a nice logo mark with some uh, typography and as you can see, I decided to combine web and flower together and this created the new icon for flower web. Later on, you will see me playing around with the wavy line and I later on decided to change it to a straight line as this looked cleaner, bolder and much better.
To explain why I made this design, certain design choice in the logo design, flower web, it basically all says it all. It's literally just a flower blooming in a web and uh, yeah, that's it. That's literally all I wanted to say. <laughs> that's literally it. There is no, it's just a flower that goes out in a web. That's all. Okay guys, I feel so weird. Like, I changed the complete way how I record my YouTube videos. So now, I'm literally doing so many things at the same time. I feel like I'm so, so messy in recording. But the recordings are gonna turn out very nice, trust me. But first, let's go and get some tea and move to the design process. You know, the to-go tea that I always take, this one. It's raining, guys. Now that we have designed our logo suite, it's time we start designing the brand touch points, which will be thank you cards, uh, what again for a brand, uh, thank you cards, uh, you know this wrapping paper that they use for flowers, even the packaging for the flowers. This is the stage where we are going to be designing all of those. It is finally time we start creating the brand touch points. This basically means uh, where we will be creating all the real life items that are in line with the business. So this means we'll be creating advertisements, thank you cards, the wrapping paper. I like this step a lot because this is where you will be able to see your brand in action and this will also help the clients in getting a feeling of how the brand identity will look like once printed. is all over the place I need to get like maybe a ring light or something that can just occupy me instead of me just sticking ring lights this is the stage you have all been waiting for and that's the brand presentation after finalizing the complete design from mock-ups to logo design from all everything from guidelines target audience competitor analysis and so much more it's finally time we can showcase flower web after working hard on it it's finally ready to be showcased I present to you flower web Thank you guys for watching this new video i hope you guys enjoyed it please don't mind i felt so out of place in this video because i decided to use a complete different style for recording i decided to keep it very neat and try to keep it like close to my comfy vibe vlogs so uh let me know if you like this video or you, or you like the style of recording if you have any other ideas please do let me know and uh let me know your thoughts concerning flower web how did you like the brand design how did you like the brand identity i enjoyed working on it it was a very nice nice project to also try out something else as that was one of my goals for this year is to try out different design methods and try out just different design instead of sticking to my to go stepping out of the comfort zone and create things that actually are completely different than what i would usually create so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um also don't hesitate to let me know what you would like to see in my next video don't forget to follow me on social media on Instagram, Morning Comfort Zone Nerd with a little dash behind. Don't forget to follow my Design Studio account, Studio Heart Designs. And also don't forget to follow me on TikTok. I am going to be posting from June 
yeah when this video is going to be out i'm going to be have posted probably three videos which basically means i'll be posting every single day from monday to friday every single day a new tiktok video why am i doing this to have more fun in creating content to grow in creating short form content with high quality and also to step out of my comfort zone and uh it's also always good to have some extra content trust me and i don't need to bother about creating content if you're interested in working together send me an email or inquire through my website and i'll see you guys in the next video ciao ciao i should actually have like a nice outro i've been saying this for if you have any nice outro ideas please do let me know i appreciate that have you seen the hair it's different it's different than what i usually take and honestly i'm gonna be very honest it felt i felt like a potato when i finished it but i kind of like it now it's nice and i'm actually using you know, normally I have this paper script with me. I'm using Notion. I might create a Notion video. Stay on the lookout for that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, or share this with your friends. And follow me on social media. All the social media handles are down in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao. Woo!